And hey, well, this is Francisco from One Sure Doctor Phone, and welcome back to our channel. Here, you're going to find the best solutions to your mobile issues. And in today's video, we are actually going to talk about how to fix iTunes error 14. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So first of all, you should know that the iPhone error 14 or iTunes error 14 usually occurs when you are updating an iOS system. It can happen due to several issues, like it could be due to a bad USB cable, it could be due to an error during a firmware upgrade, it could also be due to lack of capacity on the iPhone, or due to unstable network connectivity, and lastly due to an outdated version of iTunes, kind of causing that. So before we continue, here's a quick checklist to follow. Go ahead and check that your USB cable and connector are the original ones. Try switching the USB port and use another one if that ends up not working. And then try using the cable on another device to make sure that it does work. If the error 14 message is still showing up and it's not being fixed, then there are going to be three very special methods that we can go through in this video to make sure that this error does get resolved one way or another. So let's go ahead and dive right into those. And first off, we're going to try with method number one. And this is going Going to be how to fix the error without any kind of data loss and for that we're going to have to follow these steps so first of all go ahead and launch dr phone after downloading it you're going to find the download links to dr phone in the description and after launching it go ahead and choose system repair from the main menu go ahead and connect your iphone to your computer and then click standard mode and then select your iPhone model and system version, and then finally click on start. And once the download has been completed, you're going to be able to click on fix now. And then from here, just, just give it about 10 minutes or so, and then your iPhone should be pretty good to go from here. However, you can also use an iTunes repair tool to fix the iTunes error 14 on iOS 13. So you can also do this by using Dr. Phone. So assuming that you've already downloaded it, go ahead and follow these steps. So first of all, go ahead and select system repair from the main interface and then select iTunes repair and then repair iTunes errors. And then the tool automatically checks and repairs iTunes components. And if error 14 still pops up for you, then click the advanced repair for a more fundamental repair instead. And if iTunes error 14 persists after the advanced repair, then try the repair iTunes connection issues option in order to fix any kind of connection issues that may appear from this. And by this point, you should be fine. However, if the issue still persists, then there's still one more method that we can go with, which usually revolves around deleting or moving a corrupted IPSW file iTunes uses the IPSW file to restore or update devices. Hence, if your IPSW file is corrupted, then you won't be able to restore your iPhone and you'll get the iTunes error 14 over and over again. In this case, you can actually go ahead and delete the IPSW file or rename it if anything, but first you need to find it. And finding it will vary depending on which operating system you're working with. On Mac OS, go to iPhone, then library, then iTunes, then iTunes, iPhone software updates. You're going to find it right in there. If you're using Windows XP by chance, on your C drive, go to Documents and Settings, then Application Data, then Apple Computer, then iTunes, then finally iPhone Software Updates. And on Windows Vista and 7, 8, and 10, you can just go ahead and go to your C drive, then Users, then App Data, Roaming, Apple Computer, iTunes, then iPhone Software Updates. And that's essentially where you can find the IPSW file on Windows. So what do you do after you find the IPSW file on your computer? So here's what you would do. Close iTunes and then launch it again, and then make sure to delete the IPSW file as well. And again, I go to your system drive, user, your username, app data, Apple computer, iTunes, and then finally iPhone software updates. And then restore or upgrade your iPhone from iTunes, and then you should not get the same error 14 message anymore. And that's it. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. And just make sure to leave us a like if you liked it and make sure to comment your questions and thoughts down below if you have any. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this one. Now, until next time, enjoy.